Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Gloria. How are you? Fine. And you? Oh, perfect. Nice. Good. R rested. Okay. Excellent. Yes, you had a nice weekend. And you? How was it? Uh, nice. Okay. Good. Okay. Did you rest? Um, so, so. So, you didn't have too much time to relax? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. That's good. Did you go to work today? What? Did you go to work today? Uh, um, good. Yes. Okay. Was it good? Not too much stress. Como sería más o menos? Estilo más o menos es el tostón. So, yes. Tostón. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I will put it in the chat. Okay. You can use kind of. Or you can also use sort of synonym. Sort of. Okay. okay. Okay, they said, uh, uh, they say a lot of stress, mm, kind of, sort of. Okay, so, 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 okay. Okay, it's not too much. thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good. Good. Okay, let's see, let me share what we have for today. A little, let's start with a little review while the others come in. With a reading, right? So here in this session, participant will have a chance to read an article from a magazine. Okay, so here we're going to read The World in One Neighborhood. Okay, here. Okay, Gloria, let's see. Can you help me? And wait. Okay. okay. Read the title, read the red part, and the number one here. Okay. Please. The things that were are crowded with Indian women in color four. A traditional dress, a woman on the corner is selling. Shiny case, a uh, new song from a Romanian band is playing in restaurant. Is it? Okay, continue here. Is it? Is it Indiana, China, Romania? No, it's a story. A neighborhood hunt in Queens, New York City. A story was once a monthly grant. A neighbor home. But the art is shining fast news received from Indian, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. The okay. new okay. receipt. Okay. Now, questions, everybody? Anybody there? Do you have any questions? For example, about vocabulary here. Only in the number uh, one. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. Uh, esta parte, uh, vamos a ver, permítame. Mm, the Cedar Wars. ¿Qué es the Cedar Wars? Uh, La pr el primer renglón. First here, the sidewalks. This one? Yes. The sidewalks are crowded. This is the, look at the look at the pointer. This is the sidewalk. Okay. This is the street, and this is the sidewalk. The street is for the cars, and the sidewalk is for the people. 
Yes. And they, you yeah. see, for example, and they are crowded, right? With full of people, a lot of people. Okay, so that means las aceras están, what? Llenas, right? With people, right? Then with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. Okay, for example, have you ever been to Antigua, Guatemala? People, have you ever been to Antigua, Guatemala? Yes, uh, how yes. much people, uh, the different cultures and the and the Indians and the different dresses and the, the basic. Yes, but they had the, for example, the the majority of of the people that you will see there is the people from Guatemala, right? People who speak Kachika. So that you will see the parks and the sidewalks crowded with native people, native women in colorful traditional dresses. Okay, son bien coloridos, right? Bien coloridos. The vestidos uh, tradicionales that these people use in Antigua Guatemala. So it's similar. It's, it's similar in in uh, I hear too much. Somebody has a microphone on. Okay, and then uh, and then it's very similar in this area, right? When you go to Queens, New York. Okay, another another word, vocabulary, phrase, expression, pronunciation. No problem. Okay, so we're gonna have, uh, let me see, Tatiana, can you please read the number two? This little paragraph here. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Tati. The new re resident brings many, many tradition. The, this tradition blend together to make uh, us Astoria. Astoria, Astoria, Charlie, mm, multicultural. Multicultural. Mm -hmm. Multicultural. When people are sur surrounded, surrounded by different culture, they adopt the things that they like. Say one resident here 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 yes here is a story it is it isn't surprising that an indian woman buys mexican tortillas from a core Cor grocery Korean, 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 Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Oh, Three? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, very good. Okay, question. Is you, if you see, for example, is, this is the blend. Blend is like mix, right? So there are many traditions, imagine a Indian woman buying Mexican tortillas in a Korean grocery store. Three, three different cultures. The Indian buy tortillas in a grocery store where they sell Korean food. So this is the nice combination, right? That you can see here. Okay, uh, let me see another one here. Yes, let me. Okay. Here, Arely, can you please read this one? The number three. Hi, teacher. Hello, Arely. Okay, it isn't okay. surprising that a story. 
is becoming a very popular place to live. To live. To live. Okay. The rest are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and it has very good very good uh, public transportation. There are expensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good French fruit and vegetable mar market. And Astoria is a uh, comfortable, comfortable, ¿cómo se dice? Comfortable. comfortable place to live. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. Place to live. Yes. Apartments are usually and big and room and roomy. Roomy. As one long time res resident says, with life anywhere also. A story has it all. It's a story has it all. Okay, very good. Has it all. Mm -hmm. As you can see here in the map, here it says Astoria is a neighborhood in Queens in New Jersey. Okay, so this is New Jersey, the Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, and Brooklyn. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five places. Yes. They is in Manhattan is the one for for the people who has more money, right? If you wanna have if you wanna go there. Then in Astoria, this neighborhood here in Queens, there is a combination of many, many different cultures. People from different parts of the world are living here. Latin America, Brazil, El Salvador, uh, the United States, China, Korea, Mexico, uh, many, okay, many cultures. Okay, questions, any other question? Okay, let's see then and answer the questions here. And let me see, Oscar, can you read the instructions here? Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Instructions. Read the article, then check the times. The things? You can the things. You can find on Astorias. There are six. There are six, okay? Check the things that you can find in Astoria. Okay, so this is... The strategy, the strategy that we are going to use in this moment is a scan. A scan is like a scanner, right? When you go to uh, the doctor and there is a machine and they do the scan, they check all your body to detect a problem, right? And then in this case, the scanner or the scanning when we read is similar. Okay, for example, here says inexpensive. Then inexpensive stores, big apartments, good schools, beautiful beaches. And then you go to the article and then shh, only don't read, just look for the words. For example, a, a, inexpensive stores. Can we find inexpensive stores here? Yes. Where? Yes. Where is it? Three. Number three? Three. Uh huh. Oops. Public Ah, here. Look. Inexpensive stores. Good public transportation. Uh huh. Then here, public transportation. At least, not, we are not reading. No estamos leyendo. We're just scanning, buscando, scanning information. Then we have inexpensive stores. Uh, what else? Good public transportation. Uh, big apartments. Nice restaurant. Uh, number uh, three. Uh, what? Big apartment, yes. Uh, apartments, yes. Apartments are usually big and roomy. Okay, Great so market. we have apartments. Great market. Big market, big apartments. Uh, market. Huh? 
Where is market? Great markets, where? But parallel. Where can we find the great markets? This uh, no. So we have say good public inflation or expensive stores. No, right? What about the uh, good schools? No. Beautiful no. dishes. No. Beautiful dishes. No. Free markets. Nice restaurant. Nice restaurants? Uh, yes, restaurant, yes. Where? Three. Yes. Uh, mm. Nice. Many, many, many nice different cultures. Where's nice restaurants? I don't find many. Many different oh, nice restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many nice restaurants, yes. And cultures. Where is cultures? Many different cultures. <laughs> well, cultures. Uh -huh. cultures. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they and adopt two, the things. Two. But second paragraph. In the second paragraph. Second paragraph. Okay, we have nice restaurants, many different cultures. Interesting. Great market. Building. Uh huh. This this two I don't find this two. Great markets and interesting Two, old buildings. Second. To make Astoria, people surrounded, different cultures. Big apartments. Makes the neighborhood special. Yes, big apartments, yes. We're missing one. Go to school, beautiful beaches, gray markets, or interesting old buildings. Green Good public map. transportation, many different culture, nice restaurant, gray Picture market, big apartment. Good fresh fruit and vegetable. And good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. Green yes. market. This could be the gray one. Gray market. Uh -huh. This could be the one. It says good, not great, but it's, this is similar. Yes, here. There you are. Yes, we found it. Show answers. Boom. Okay, very good. So we have an expensive stores. It's cheap. Big apartments. Great markets. Nice restaurants. Many different cultures and good public transportation. Okay, questions about vocabulary from here? No. No, right? Okay, so this is a strategy that we use very frequently. Okay, sometimes we use it when we have a test. Okay, or when you have a test, you read the question, and then you look for the information for that question. That is a scanning. Okay, when we are when we have a paper to read, but we only look for a specific information. We don't need to read, okay, all the documents. Sometimes it's not necessary because there are some questions that we need to answer. Okay, good. So we submit it and we have it. Okay. And this is the end of the unit three, for section three. Yeah, I wanna show you something before we, if you go to the progress, then in your platform, you can see your progress, right? Miren, yo solo siendo yo, only 100% con ayuda de ustedes, right? Okay, this is for example, my, my progress, right? If you see, for example, the uh, section one, section two, section three, and this is the average, okay, the average of the three, right now is 60%, because I am missing the uh, homework four, section four, and section five. 
And also, I am missing the the midterm test. And then you will see here, the total in this moment is 18%, very low. But I am missing 40% here, okay? And I am missing the other percentage, 30 and 30 here, okay? The two exams. The two exams, I think the color is different. The color is gray, okay? So the color changes. Okay, in the other case, if you see here, you have in section one, I have two exercises, 50 and 50. In the section two, there were four exercises, one, two, three, four. In the section three, we have three exercises, 33, 33, and 34. Okay. And then we have, what does she look like? All right. So then this is, you know, how you can check your progress. Now, for example, if you see section four, zero, 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 zero. Section five, an exam, final exam, zero, zero, zero. Also in the midterm, because I haven't done it. Okay. How did you do in your, in your midterm? Did you finish the midterm test? Yes? No? Yes. Okay, tomorrow we're going to check it together. Okay, just uh, for, for another review, a general mm -hmm. review of the section three. Okay. And now we'll begin with section four. four. Yes, then, yes. what does she look like? What does she look like? What, is the, what does she look like? What is the question? What is the answer? What is the per, what does the person want to know? What does she look like? How do you answer this question if you say, what does your father look like? What does your mother look like? Okay, well, you say she is tall, white skin, uh, she has long uh, black hair, uh, she has uh, brown eyes. Okay, so this is the physical appearance, right? The physical appearance. This is what does she look like. What do you look like? Talking about physical appearance. Now let me see if this, okay, here we go. Okay, Hugo, could you please read the lesson objective for today? Okay, teacher. In this session, participants will learn vocabulary uh, for describing people okay so here this is what i was telling you right learn vocabulary for describing people okay See the sound. Okay, here we go. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, Age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Hi, 
Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, a mustache and a beard, age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, looking, <clears throat> pretty, height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Height. Okay, so here we have a uh, physical appearance. Okay, for example, if you want to describe hair, we're going to use long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, bald is no hair. Okay, no hair. A, must a mustache and, and beard, the mustache is here and the beard is here. Okay, beard, no beard, okay, beard. And then this is talking about the hair. If you want to talk about the age, the, the appearance of the age, young person, probably what, from zero to 30, 35, okay? Uh, middle age, probably from 40 to 50, from 40 to 60, more or less, okay, middle age, from 40 to 60, and elderly after 60, okay? Okay. Then the other one we have looks, is the appearance, right? Handsome, good looking, pretty, pretty or beautiful, right? Okay, uh, if you want to talk about height, okay, tall, short, and that, everything, you say short, fairly short, okay? It's short, but when we say short. it's not tanto, not tanto bajo, right? Kind of, kind of short. Short. Uh -huh. Yes, sort of short fairly short. Then you have medium height. Uh, I don't know, in El Salvador, medium height, I think it's 150, right? Like 150. Uh, probably if you say pretty tall, okay, pretty tall is like 175 maybe. 175 and very tall could be 180, 185 in El Salvador, right? And because this this one here is relative, okay, it's relative. Relativo because you know depends on the country, right? Uh, if you probably go to China, the people are uh, they are not very tall. They are not very tall, but there are exceptions, okay? In the United States, many people are very tall, but there are exceptions. Some of them are short, okay? So this is why. But if you want to say short, fairly short, medium, when you say short is because it's, you say now it's chaparrit, right? And when you say fairly short is, you know, Promedio, right in the, in short, the medium, pretty, and very. Okay, uh, if you want teacher, to teacher, teacher, have a question. With the pretty tall is uh, or medium, or medium. That's kind of tall, oh, huh? yeah. kind of tall. Mm -hmm. Un poco alto. Okay, un poco alto, and the one with the muy alto, right? Teacher. Okay, so, yes. Very short, 
Uh, 50, 56. This one, fairly short. Yeah. Uh huh. 56. 56, uh, what? Uh, uh, de altura, centímetros. Mm, not really, no. Metros. Like, uh -huh. No, uh, metros, that is one. I don't know, it depends. Because men and women have different heights. Ahí depende de quién hable, si es una señora o un señor, joven, una joven, right? Uh, because sometimes los hombres tienden a ser un poquito más altos, pero no siempre, no es una... Ok, hay casos en que las mujeres son más altas que los hombres, y ya llegando a la edad, de, al crecimiento tope, right? So then a fairly short, probably, I think the standard for men in El Salvador, I think it's 165. And for women, I think it's 155. Okay, that is, that's the, like the, the average. For example, if you are uh, one, if you are a man and if you are 150, then you are fairly short. Okay? Or short, probably short. And if you are a man if, and you are 160, ya no va a crecer más, it's fairly short. Probably for men, it would be 160. And short will be 150. Pretty tall will be 175 here in Salvador. And very tall will be 180. One meter, 80 centimeters, okay? More or less. And for women, probably short will be 145. Uh, fairly short will be probably 155. Medium, 160. Pretty tall, 165. And very tall for a woman in El Salvador will be 180, 170. Aunque conozco personas en Verete Web que miren más de 180 here in El Salvador, right? But there are, pero no es la generalidad. So that's what, pero les decía que es relativo, right? Ponerlo en estatura es más difícil. But hay que tomar el estándar que tenemos. Okay? But that's more, but that's more or less, that's an idea, okay? Okay, okay. What else? Okay, uh, if this is, for example, uh, if you want to talk about eyes, you're gonna use, uh, well, you don't see the color here because it's more complicated, but if you have, for example, blue eyes, green eyes, uh, brown eyes, black eyes, gray, light brown, color, uh, cafe claro, right? So then these are also for the colors of the eyes. So what you need to describe people is the hair, right? The, the eyes, the age. But in the age, you say young, middle age, or elderly. The looks, handsome, good looking, pretty, beautiful, okay? Uh, and for height, short, fairly tall. Okay, so this is how you can describe people. Short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay. Now we're gonna see the next one before we go to the practice. Okay, here. Now, uh, let me check. Daisy, are you here? Yes. Daisy, can you please read the objective here? Good evening, here? teacher. Good evening. In this section, participants will listen to a conversation between two people, people. The, the screen, another person object of appearance will be practiced. Practice. Okay. So you see in this conversation, now we're gonna see two people describing another one. 
Okay, and now this is the practice. This is how we are going to do it. Okay. Just let me. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Beautiful red hair. <clears throat> okay, now, uh, well, I will read it again. Okay, it says, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Brandy. Yes, her name's Ashley. And she's gorgeous, gorgeous, okay? Really, what does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? Okay, que tan alta, right? How tall? About six feet, two. And then you say feet, say pies y dos pulgadas, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Two inches. I suppose, okay? But not sure. Wow, mm -hmm. that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay. Questions about vocabulary? Girl, teacher, mm -hmm. girl, gorgeous. Gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Eh, hermosa, fenomenal, right? Gorgeous. Grandiosa. Gorgeous. Uh -huh, gorgeous. 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 Uh -huh. What else? Only? Only. Okay, very good. Then, let's see some I practice. Uh-huh. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I su suppose, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, suppose. I suppose. Uh -huh. Uh, supongo. I suppose. Yeah. I guess. Okay. I guess. Uh -huh. I guess. There is another one. Let me see. Okay. And the chat, you can see the one that says guess. I guess, I suppose. This is a synonym, right? Supongo, I guess. For example, uh, eh, let me see here, yes. Okay, now we're going to read it, okay? Eh, Hugo, you read the part of uh, Randy, and Daisy, you read the part of Emily, okay? Okay. Okay. Go. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's girl, girl gorgeous. 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 
Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, and suppose, suppose. I suppose. I suppose. Wow. What color is here? Is her hair? Her hair. She has beautiful red hair. And, and how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. Okay, Marily and Tatiana, read it. I heard you ha have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Re really? What does she look like? Gwen, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. Hair. And and how old is she? I don't know. She's going to tell me. She won't tell me. Okay, good. She won't tell me. Now, Gloria and Jose. I heard you have a new dear friend, Randy. Yes, her name Ashley, and she's gorgeous. 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 Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. Oh, tall? How tall? Uh, about How tall? About six feet to uh, suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her ear? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay. No problem? Good. Then Carmina and Stanley. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good, good evening. Good picture. Um, I Emily, right? Yes, you start and Stanley is ready. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name, Ashley. Uh, she's Georgius. Really? What does she look like? She look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two inch, uh, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She's a beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. Okay, this usually happens, you know, when somebody does not want to give her age. Now, uh, Brenda and I don't know if I am, and Oscar. Okay, good evening. Okay, teacher. Good evening, partners. Good evening. I, I heard you had a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name Ashley's, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? 
about six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is so. What color is her hair? He ha she has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. Okay, good. Okay, Angel and Gloria. Gloria, you are Emily. Angel, you are Brandy. Hello. Okay. I hear you have a new dear friend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. 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 Really? What does she look like? We lost Angel. Well, well, she's, well, she's, she's very tall. tall. <laughs> yes, we lost him. Okay, well, she's very tall. And How Stanley, tall? How tall? Well, I continue. About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that's a star. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And, and how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. Okay, so this is just, remember, it's always And how good. old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. It's always good to read aloud, siempre bueno leer en voz alta, to, to practice the articulation and the pronunciation and intonation, okay? Good. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing a... Now, let's see. Okay, good. Answer questions about the appearance. Now we have, in this session, you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. Now pay attention to the question because this is what we are going to practice. Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about mm -hmm. appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to describe ask and answer questions about appearance let's go over the audio program notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed describing people general appearance okay <clears throat> here you will see the questions according to the information that you request okay according to the information that you need uh, when we talk about general appearance says, what does she look like? Here, you know, you can give a general information about a person. 
Look at Kendall, she's tall with red hair and she's gorgeous, right? You know, like really amazing. This is very general. If you want to be more specific, then you're gonna use other questions. Does she wear glasses? Okay, say yes, and he has a beard. Okay, does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Now here is answer the question, yes, but also you give more information, okay? When you talk about the age, if you want to know the age of the person, how old is she? Oh, she's about 32. You know, when you say about 32, is that gives you an idea. She's in her 30s also, right? That you know that she's between 30 and 39, okay? How old is she? He's in, how old is he, sorry? He's in his 20s. You know, he's in his 20s, he's a person very young, right? 20 to 29. Okay, he's in his 20s. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. Okay, she's 6 feet 2. Oh, that's very tall. Then how tall is he? He's quite short. How long is her hair? Okay, it's medium health, medium, medium length. Probably for a woman is to the, hasta los hombros o abajito, maybe, right? Sería medium length. Correct, ladies, am I right or not? What is medium length for a woman? Yes, it's shoulders. To, to the shoulders, right, to the shoulders. Okay, then that's the medium, and the, probably the middle of the back, La mitad de la espalda is long, right? Okay, so then what color? Uh, what color? Let me see, I can see. Okay, what it's color is his hair? Skin. Thank you. Uh -huh. What color is his hair? It's dark, light brown. brown. He has brown hair. Mm -hmm. What color is his skin also you can use? Okay, he's, brunette. Uh, he's uh, probably white. Okay, or brunette. Okay, now continue listening. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's one meter eighty-eight. She's six feet two. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay. Let's see here if we have uh, the idea before we go to the oral practice. Write questions to match these statements. My brother is 26 years old. What is the question? How, mm -hmm. how, how old? Yes. Is, is your is, brother? Is, you do, uh -huh, is do your that. brother? Okay. Question mark. I'm one meter seventy three centimeters. What's the question? How tall is he? How tall? 
Mm -hmm. Look, uh, is he, is he is, but if he says I am, Listen. Are you? Are you correct? That's right. How tall are you? Thank you, Carmina. Then Sharon has brown hair. What color is Sharon? What color? What color is hair? Is yeah. hair hair. Mm -hmm. No, she doesn't. She wears contact lenses. She wears glasses. Does. Does. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, does. Uh -huh. Does she? Does she wear glasses? Does she wear glasses? Okay. It's different, right? Glasses and contact lenses. Mm -hmm. Yes. Five. He's tall and very good looking. General. She's tall. It's a general question. Was he she he looked like uh -huh. that the how should I bear what that what that what does uh -huh. he looks like he, he looks like look uh -huh. like okay six My sister's hair is medium what length. What color? What? What color? Uh -huh. Perdón. Voy el, I, el, I uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. My sister's hair is medium. What? This is about. Long, uh -huh. What? Long, long, long. How? Uh -huh. How long? Tall? How long is her hair? Is her hair? Hair. Yes, how long? Okay, so I have dark brown eyes. What color is your color? What color is eyes? What color? Yes. Yes. Only one. Or two eyes, yes. singular yes. or plural. Eyes. Are your eyes? The color are plural. Your eyes, plural. Two eyes. Yes. Next one. How old? How old? How old? How old are, how old are, how old are, are you? Are you? How old are you? Hey. They're nice. They're nice, beautiful, and very tall. How? Oh. Another question, too. Oh. Um, and what do they oh, look they look like what uh -huh. do they look like hey what do they look like mm -hmm. and the last one Oh, 
is fear yes ke correct also is ke okay you can see here how to how well probably another question mark because just the script okay what do they what do they look like okay how are you what color are your eyes hey good people good how long well how long is uh-huh um, well, is your sisters es lo mismo solo que more specific your sisters el possessive how long is your sister's hair okay what does he look like does he wear does she wear glasses Very good and what color is Sharon's hair? Okay. Sharon's hair. How tall are you? How old is your brother? And that's it. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess I know. I think I didn't. What color? Now what? Where is the mistake? Let's see what we have. What color is probably an apostrophe? Me. Do you see another mistake? No. Huh? That's the only one. Probably. That's the only one that I can see. Still. Let's try. But what color? Okay. Sharon's. Sharon's. Uh, hair. Tenía que volverlo a escribir. That's why. Okay, but that's the correct one, right? What color is Sharon's hair? Okay, and that is correct. Okay, good. Okay, for tomorrow, you are going to, these are the questions that we are going to practice tomorrow. That's why I wanted to, wanted you to sit in today. And also uh, think about a, a person that you know, again, you conozcan, okay, to describe for tomorrow, okay? So this okay. is what we're going to, to, to practice. Think how you can describe, uh, well, you can describe an actor, an actress, Okay, vamos a hacer un juego. Ustedes van a escribir a alguien and we are going to try to guess who you are describing. Okay, so then think about one actor, actress, singer, a famous person, and then tomorrow you will describe it. And the rest of the class will try to, to guess who you're talking about. And after we're going to working groups, you know, uh, asking and practicing the questions. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Good to see you again. You too. Okay, bye-bye. Have a good night. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.